creating again and um, essentially what I have done is to create an alternative rear case well in fact and a front case for the um, crossfire system so that it will fit onto my X20. Now um, where, I think I've got another one floating around. I've lost it. I've lost it. There it is. Got it. So there's a crossfire module. Bonk standard module. It's the full size unit. Has this great big chunking box on the back. That's all great but um well here's an X20 and it doesn't plug in. <laughs> so um the, the real issue here, and I'll pop this off so we can show you, is that the Tandem has one of these micro modules. Now, that's not inherently an issue because you do get micro modules. So for example, you get a little Crossfire Micro and that can plug in. But um, if only it were that simple. So um, the problem here is that the antenna, inside this antenna is a lovely 900 megahertz antenna for the FreeSky system. But um, it collides, so kind of whatever you do, if you try to get a micro module on, it hits that. But um, I solved it. So um, the files are up on Thingiverse, and as we can see, what I've done is fused, let me pop that down, so I've fused a back module bay into an absolutely identical matching piece, which takes the front screen, or um, is actually complete STL if you do want it to color match the front because these have been completely reproduced and um, well it kind of works you know I'm kind of chuffed so essentially I take that I take that I can pop it in nicely and click there we go kind of does the job but um yeah tandem there's still a minor problem so this is just powering up, and you can see the issue. Well, can we get a focus on it? I don't know if we'll get a focus at this point. Uh, there's no focus. So the issue is quite simple. I'm only getting a PPM signal from Ethos through to the module. This is a short-term problem. Um, essentially, right now, the CSRF protocol is not supported by Ethos. There is work in progress. It is going to happen. So I'm kind of prepped, I'm wired up and I'm ready to go. And in the meantime, well, for the wings that I have which are running Crossfire, I'll just settle with PPM. So um, yeah, <laughs> there you go, things you can create. Um, I'm going to give you a link to Thingiverse. That will show you exactly where you can download the files. I also would highly recommend you printed them professionally. So um, it is possible to print with a regular FFF printer. Here's one of my prototypes. It does work, but honestly, it just doesn't look as good. You know, when you get this professionally printed in nylon, it just matches up perfectly. Everything is spot on. So, um, yeah, you can kind of tell that from this, can't you? It's just utterly spot on and perfect. But, yeah, there you go, guys. Enjoy the files on Thingiverse. Have fun.